Hey guys, it's Shaman. Today we're going to be talking about how to make custom tests from the AAMC resources and how to properly use the AAMC resource in general, including scheduling. So we're going to be doing three things in this video. The first is just a brief overview of the AAMC resources. The second is how to use those AAMC resources to make custom tests. And the third is just a general schedule of how to use those custom tests. So before we jump into the AAMC resources, it's a good idea to have a sense of what the exam looks like. So the MCAT exam is four sections, and the first section covers general chemistry, organic chemistry, and physics. The second section is CARS, which is basically reading comprehension, except really crazy reading comprehension. The third section covers biology and biochemistry, and the fourth section covers psychology and sociology. There are 53 questions in the car section and 59 questions in the other three sections. So what you're looking at right now are all of the AAMC available resources on their website. So these are the physical resources. You get multiple choice flashcards, which have a multiple choice question on the front and then just an explanation on the back. They're pretty quick to go through and you can just do them on your own time schedule. The official guide to the MCAT book basically guides you through what the MCAT is like and it does have questions in it, but those questions are compiled in a half length test already on their website. So you basically, I don't recommend reading that book. The available tests, there are four available tests well, three full tests, one half length test, and I arrange them in order of importance. So practice exam one and two are the most important. The sample test is just like the practice exams, but you don't get a score. And then there's also a half length test. The rest of the AAMC resources are question sets. So all of these are question sets. And they're also arranged a little differently. So these question sets are arranged by subject, while these are arranged by section. So for example, in the first section, which covers organic chemistry, chemistry, and physics, that is all covered in this chem and physical foundations section as part of the section bank. It covers all three subjects, while up here, they're divided by subjects. So this only covers chemistry and organic chemistry, and physics is a separate question set. Also, the difference between these question sets up here and the section bank question sets is that these have 100 questions while these have 120 questions per question set. Also, the section bank questions are much harder. Now that we know the resources on the AAMC website, we can more easily make those custom tests. So let's start making custom test one. So what we want to do to make custom test one is we want to take 60 chemistry questions. So here are the chemistry questions. We want to take 60 of them from this question set. So we're only taking 60, not the full 120. So we're only taking half. So that leaves us with 60 chemistry questions here. <clears throat> the next thing is the cars portion. So we want to take cars question set and we're only taking 60 questions so again half of the set and that leaves us with 60 questions in this volume one the third portion is the biology portion and so we've used up 60 so we have 60 left as part of volume one. Lastly, we want to take the behavior and social sciences questions. So we're taking 50 of those questions, which is half of the 100 questions. As you can see, the chemistry here, there's 60 questions rather than the 59 that are on the actual exam. So we don't have the exact number of questions, but again, it's not a big deal. We're also missing the few physics questions that are part of the first section on the actual MCAT exam. CARS is fine. Biology, we're missing some biochemistry because biology does not cover all the biochemistry topics. And behavior and social sciences is fine. So these aren't intended to be 
exact replicas of the actual exam. They're just a very efficient way of using these resources. And it's far more effective to do this than to do, for example, all the biology questions and then all the cars questions. So the benefit of making these custom tests is that you will gain the stamina that's required on the MCAT by doing four passages in a row. And you'll also get a sense of the pace and the rhythm of the MCAT exam. For example, the first section in all of these custom tests are going to be pretty difficult, which emulates what's on the actual exam. The first section is supposed to use your brain the most. A quick note is that when I say 60 questions or 50 questions, it's not an exact amount, it's an approximate amount. So these question sets are arranged in passages. So you might have questions one to four as a passage, questions five to nine as a passage, all the way up to like question 55 to 58 as a passage. And you wanna end your test there, question 58, because the next passage will be 59 to 62. You won't be getting exactly 60 questions. You'll be stopping at whenever a passage stops near 60. You should understand how I'm making these custom tests by using up half of these question sets. So this is custom test two. Again, cars and psych, basically the same. Bio and biochemistry, you might be wondering why I selected that as the first section of the test. It's usually the third section. That's because this is section bank biochem, which is really, really hard. And the pacing on the actual exam, the first section is generally going to use the most brain power. So I put this here because you're going to be using a lot of brain power trying to dissect the complicated graphs. Chem and physical foundations is first because that's what's standard on the MCAT exam. Cars, standard is the second thing. Biology is going to be the third thing like before. And physics is fourth year uh, for two reasons. One, we ran out of psychology. And the second reason is that it provides good spacing from chem and physical foundations. Custom test four, just some chemistry questions, cars questions, biology questions. Standard like the exam, physics, same reason as custom test three. Custom test five is a half length test because we only have two resources left. And I chose these, the chem and physical foundations from the section bank and bio and biochemical foundations from the section bank because they're extremely hard and these should be 50 questions. So you just wanna take the 50 questions remaining. Again, as you can see, they're not extremely perfect tests that exactly fit the criteria of the MCAT, but they do a pretty good job at emulating what the MCAT is like. As for the general schedule of how to use all these tests, you first wanna start out with the practice tests that are already made for you. So these available tests right here. And at first you wanna take them in order of decreasing importance. So practice test one will be your most important. Next you wanna do all the custom tests. And you're reviewing these tests the day after you take them. So I've bolded the review days. So in blue are the already made tests and in pink are the custom tests. So you'll see here Again, we have the blue, and they're actually the exact same test as the one we've done above, but we're doing them in inverse order this time. So here, we wanna take the most important test to get a feel of what the exam is like, just on day one. And then here, we wanna go in opposite order, so that the last tests you take before your exam most accurately emulate what the actual exam is like. You can tailor this however you like. You can also tailor the custom tests however you like, you can also add break days anywhere you want in here if you're ever feeling burned out. And also it's important if you saw my first video, before you start these practice tests and apply knowledge, you want to get that knowledge first. So before you start practice test one, you should have reviewed all your notes beforehand. One more note is that the AMC only gives you a limited number of tries to start each test. So you can resume a test, but if you start a test, that counts as one attempt. Also, you might be wondering how to score all of these or time all of these. You don't want to even score any of the custom tests. A general rule of thumb is that if you get 10 or less wrong, you're doing fantastic. And if you get 15 or less wrong, you're still doing great. Those should be your goals. Scoring them is pretty difficult 
because it varies across each exam. What you do want to score are practice test one, two, and the sample test. Practice test two and one are already scored right when you finish the test. The sample test doesn't give you a score, but if you look for Excel sheets online, you can find people that convert your score into a scaled score. And for timing, you don't want to worry about timing for any of them, even the ones at the beginning, except for these last three. You only want to time yourself there. That should basically be all you need to know for your MCAT preparation. And if you watch to the end of a video as detailed as this, then you're already a driven and committed student. I hope this video helped and I will see you soon.